Hi, I'm Katie Parker with UpstateSpartans.com. Um, I'm sitting down today with members of the USC Upstate men's cross country team. Uh, the team won the ASUN cross country championships just a week ago. And I'm here today with Christian, seniors Christian Ritaco. Um, he came in 19th during the ASUN meet. And I've got Cameron Thomas right here. He was ninth at the ASUN meet in a second team all-conference selection. Davey Dennison came in eighth, and he was also a second team all-conference selection. And Gilbert Kimboy, who was the conference champion and the runner of the year, and was also a first team all-conference selection. Gilbert, let's start with you. Um, this is your third straight ASUN individual title. Uh, you become the third runner in conference history to win individual championships. What does that mean to you? Uh, first of all, let me start by saying that uh, this program, when I came, I think it was a small one. And, uh, you know, when I look back, I see that uh, we've made uh, a lot of progress as a team. And uh, even to me, I think that uh, I've made a lot of progress. They always say that uh, for every thousand miles, you have to start with a, with a single step. And uh, I think we've gone a long way. We've come a long way with all the challenges that uh, we've encountered on the way. I think that uh, we've uh, made a lot of improvements in uh, the cross-country program in this institution. And, uh, you know, it simply tells me that uh, for everything that you do, you have to have determination, uh, hard work. You have to be persistent in what you do because uh, you never know what happens on the way. And I think that uh, we've uh, made a, a lot of progress, uh, as I've said. And uh, even as we go forward, as we live, because we are seniors, we expect uh, a lot of, uh, you know, performance from those who will come after us. And uh, I think that in the next five or ten years, uh, upstate cross country will be in the Senate position. Thank you. All right. What does it mean to you to uh, basically put yourself in the record books for the conference, not only the school, but also at the ASUN level? Uh, I think uh, it's uh, one of those rare things, and uh, it encourages me so much to, you know, even think beyond uh, just running in college. Maybe I'm um, thinking of even running professionally after I graduate, and uh, I actually uh, expect a lot of things for myself and uh, I want to go ahead and uh, challenge myself and see what I can do in the next two or three years to come. All right, what is it? Uh, you've been a champion now for three times. Um, last year, the team won and then again, the team won. What does it mean to you to just kind of lead uh, these a championship team? Yeah, I think on the team perspective, uh, it's uh, also very good because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, everybody feels that uh, we've done something. It's not just an individual thing. I think it uh, at least uh, encourages all of us as teammates, especially my four teammates that, uh, you know, I was enrolled with when I came to this place. So I think that it's very encouraging to the rest of the team and also to the coach and uh, generally to the school and probably to the whole conference. I think they are paying much attention to what we are doing. All right, this is open to all four of you. Uh, you won last year. You've been repeat champions. How does this championship this year compare to last year's and even years past for you, Gilbert? Uh, I think it's uh, last year we were not expecting that we were going to win. but. Uh, for some reason or through the hard work that uh, we put in, we ended up winning last year. And then again this year, uh, when the season bega began, uh, the polls were showing that we were actually going to defend it. But on the way, according to the polls that uh, they had from time to time, they were showing that uh, ETSU was going to win. At some times, Kennesaw was going to win. So, you know, it was also a 50-50 thing. We were not very sure, but uh, we kept working hard, knowing that uh, at least uh, we had to do something. You know, you don't just let things go. You have to at least go there and show up and do your best. And I think uh, that's what we did with uh, all of my teammates. And uh, I thank them for what they did. All right, Davey, what, how does this compare to last year's championship? Um, first off, I would just like to say 
thank you to Coach Carson, who has been, who has put up with a lot of stuff from us over the last four years. Um, it, this year's championship really, uh, it felt a little bit sweeter because I know as a freshman coming in, we all talked about how we were going to win, hope like win conference our senior year because we'd have a very old, uh, old older squad and everyone. Everyone would uh, it would be our last year, and it was our it was our goal to not leave this place without uh, winning a championship as a team. Um, it also felt it felt good because uh, everyone expected us, or a lot of people expected us to win. Uh, that didn't last year, so. Want to take this one? Yeah, yeah, I'll take this one. Yeah, last year was uh, it was really unexpected, especially being such a young squad. You know, we really weren't sure who was going to come through for us. You know, we weren't sure exactly. Uh, I mean, we didn't know anything about the course. We had never run anywhere near that area, so that that was a huge surprise. And this year, of course, you know there was pressure because I mean we wanted to defend our title. And our competition, I mean, they've always been fierce. They've always been strong. Um, I mean, they're larger schools just in general. And so uh, they went out, and, you know, they expected something from us this year. And I think a lot of our fans did. And, I mean, there's no way we are going to let them down. I mean, it was just it was a great year. All right, Cameron, you mentioned something about the pressure. Um, Christian, did you feel like there was added pressure this year to the team to repeat what you all did last year? Uh, absolutely. Um because like they were saying last year is kind of it caught us by surprise. I mean, we obviously were hoping for a win, but this year we felt like we needed to finish what we started. I mean, it was our last year here, so we felt as if we couldn't just leave without winning another championship. Um, but definitely there's a lot more pressure than there was last year. All right, mentally, how do you get past uh, that kind of pressure to prepare yourself for these races? Um, <laughs> I mean, you just kind of learn to deal with it because, I mean, ra different races bring on different kind of pressures. Like, conference always does, like, get you pumped up, and, I mean, that kind of helps you deal with the pressure. But, I mean, you just kind of get used to dealing with it and just kind of have to go out there and perform. That's really what you got to do. All right, in cross country, there's a lot of talk about following the race plan. Um, for this meet, what was the team's plan heading in? Um, for this meet, we kind of went in thinking that if we don't get first, then pretty much we're going to be last. Um, uh, we, uh, we wanted to get uh, four people in the all-conference uh, on the all-conference team, and we were pretty uh, secure that if we did that, that we'd win. And we ended up having four people on the all-conference team, so we uh, executed pretty well. All right, you mentioned something about getting four people on the all-conference teams, um, you know, which you knew pretty quickly after the race that we had four people in the top 17, um, or 14, rather. Um, what... At any point, did you know, feel like, yeah, we've definitely got this, or did, were you really not confident that you had won the championship until after it was officially announced? Actually, there was no point throughout the race where we felt confident by any means. I think a lot of it has to do with the color variation of the jerseys. I mean, it's hard to differentiate schools whenever both wear yellow. So we felt as if Kennesaw was ahead of us the entire race, and it was ridiculous. But, I mean, Coach just sat there. He's like, oh, heck yeah. Yeah, just keep going. It doesn't matter. Just keep going. Just keep racing. So, so I mean, we, we stayed pretty amped throughout most of it. But, um, I mean, even whenever it came down to that last 1,000 meters, it was just so – it was such a tight-knit group. It's like anybody that wanted to kick, they were going to get it. They were the ones that were going to get it. And, you know, it, it, uh, it really felt good because, I mean, Dave and I, we were right there next to each other, never been near Dave in a race before. It was a total first, first experience. Wouldn't trade it for the world. And, you know, that's, that's what our team has worked on this year. It's not just the speed. It's not just waking up early, you know, getting in the water, you know, rejuvenating our legs, all the team dinners, all that. You know, that, that stuff is good. But what it really helps build is the camaraderie. And when it comes down to those last few minutes of the race, that's really what you want to depend on. You want to be able to depend on your teammates helping you get there to the finish. 
Uh, Cameron, you mentioned something about never being uh, really close to Davey um, in r races this year. I know Davey's pretty much our, our solid um, number two finisher for us. Um, pretty much this season, uh, Junior Ross Odin, who also is on the all-conference team, who's not with us today, um, he kind of had been that number three. Um, what I believe both Davey and you, Cameron, both of you had PRs um, in this race. Um, what kind of gave you that extra motivation to really catch up to him this time? I mean, I think a lot of it just came came with just the, the environment. You know, it was – it's not just like any other race. You know, you get to this race and it's it's almost as if you're defending – you know, you're defending more, you're defending your pride. I mean, you're really trying to put up – all the work that you've done ever since the summer. So it's months of training. And I mean, it's just continuous effort. I mean, that, that's what it is. And I mean, obviously a ring doesn't really like, I mean, you want that. So you're not going to hold back. You think of that the whole time. And then you think about how good the celebration was last year with your team. It's like, wow, I really want that again too. <laughs> so, you know, you're going to make it happen. If you want it bad enough, it's going to happen. All right, Kristen. Um, do you have any comments about um, just kind of sticking to the race plan as a team and what that was heading out? Um, well, everybody pretty much executed it how it was supposed to be. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't have won. But um, it, it it's just one of those things, like like I said, you can't always like follow how something goes because a race can be different. It could start out slow. It could start out fast. You just don't really know. So it kind of depends on when you're actually racing is how you're going to finish. But, I mean, these three guys definitely did their part and everybody else did. So, I mean, no complaints. <laughs> All right, this question's for everyone. We'll start with Gilbert and then everyone can kind of give me their answer. Um, from the race itself, is there a particular moment that just really stands out to you that you remember? What's that memorable moment? Yes, uh, I think for the most part... Uh, some people were wondering why I was looking back, but uh, I was trying to see, you know, how my teammates were coming as far as, as, far as the, red, red, the race was concerned. So I think uh, I took my time looking back because uh, I was ahead of everybody. But uh, I also want, wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, I was ahead, but uh, some people are following me. So I saw c to, to some extent uh, Coach Smith was somewhere, you know, cheering for us, and uh, she was shouting like a uh, Davy. And then I looked back, and I saw, and I thought maybe Davy was far away. And uh, you know, I was scared, scared a little bit, uh, thinking that uh, we were going to lose because I thought that he was far away, but uh, actually he was not far away. And I didn't know even that uh, Cam was uh, close to him. So I think that w that was very memorable, and uh, also. Uh, the fans that we had, uh, our girls team, the coaches, even you, you know, even our athletics director and uh, some of our parents actually came, they supported us. So I think it was very memorable, you know, you just have all these people cheering in all corners. I think it's uh, one of those uh, powerful things that uh, tells you something and, uh, you know, you just keep going and going. You don't even get tired to some extent. So, yeah, I think that's it. Christian, what's your most memorable moment from the race? Um, well, mine's kind of for like after the race. During the race, I just I was just trying to get to the finish line as fast as I could, do my part. But I'd have to say when we got the bright idea to go grab our flag and run with it, that was probably my most fond <laughs> memory of this experience. And it, it definitely felt even better once we had the flag and we knew that we were champions again. All right, Davey. Um, well, after the race, there was a well, during the race. The most memorable part is about a thousand to go. Cam caught up to me and kind of smacked me, and I was like, "What's going on?" But after the race, I mean, um, it was very memorable for me because Carson came up and gave me a hug and told me how proud of proud of me he was, and that was really touching. It was such a great moment. All right, Cameron, he said something about you catching up to him and smacking him. Um, I'm sure it was not as dramatic as he said, or was it? Can you explain that for us? It's out of love. It's out of, <laughs> it's out of camaraderie. But, no, I mean, you get into a point where you're just, I mean, you're starting to lose focus. Your body's tired. You're dragging down. And it's like you got all this excitement built up in you. 
and it's like you're so close to the finish and it's just all wearing down on you the whole time so i mean sometimes you need a little smack <laughs> it's like yeah get get your mind right like let's finish this strong let's, let's keep going i mean there were there were a lot of people that were i mean one of our teammates actually peed himself i mean he was <laughs> filled with excitement like it was just it was a great moment and um you know it's it's good though because when you tell these stories, when people see this video, they're, they're going to look back and they're going to realize what it actually meant to us. And that's what we want to leave behind. We, we want to we tell them, like, this is the amount of effort it takes and this is how much love you need to have in it if you want to make it happen again. All right. Any last thoughts that y'all want to add about your experience this past weekend and winning back-to-back -back titles? I love throwing the water on coach. Made my whole weekend. Was that y'all's favorite moment from the celebration part of it? My favorite part of the celebration was watching Gilbert go crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he's, he's like a really keeps to himself, like he's got real good composure. But I mean, just the excitement to see in Gilbert's face really, really made me happy. It was just nice for Carson to say nice things to me for once. <laughs> Usually he just brings me down. But <laughs> since we won, it was. It was nice. He was happy. I was glad. I was glad to win. We were glad to win for coach. We didn't want to ride 10 hours in a bus back on the back losers. That would have been, we would have been fighting and choking each other out if we would have <laughs> lost. That would have been rough. I think it's also memorable to me uh, in the fact that, the, you know, uh, everybody was hacking me and uh, even the, some of our parents. You know, they were overjoyed, and uh, I think everybody was happy overall. And even, you know, when we were running, celebrating, uh, the girls team were also, you know, they were following us. So I think that's uh, very memorable. All right. Thanks, guys. Congratulations again. That's it for us at UpstateSpartans.com. Thank you.